What is good guys, we are back with a shot on life after a long time. We're gonna be using the smart shadow team. So this is a Zardry plus Z move duck tree to get rid of Chansey and Toxapex, pretty common. And I just put a uh, Scarf Marshadow over the Scarf Greninja, this is a team made by Finchinator. And I did make the Charizard modest, which I might regret later on, but I have a Mew to switch into Medichim, so I didn't think I need max speed on this. I know there's some other Pokemon where you want the speed for, but I just like the power that Modest Flamethrower has. So yeah, this guy does not have much shadow, which is um, not that... Like, you don't see that often, like, everyone is using Marshadow at the moment. But yeah, the Choice Scarf set, I don't think Marshadow... I don't know if I um, want Marshadow banned yet. The Choice Scarf set is, like, not... It doesn't hit that hard, it seems a bit underwhelming. And, like, Zemo would bulk up is a really cool set, and I definitely have to build around that. But I couldn't really build around... I haven't built a good team around that yet. But yeah, um, Tangros is a really nice lead, unless he leads with Megirna. I also like Life Up HPIs on this, by the way. Um, but I'll just leave with that why. I don't know why I didn't think about that. So now, I can see him going for U-turn, because if I'm Charizard X, he has a problem. If he goes for Bolt Strike... I guess I'll just go on a Changros here because he's not gonna V-create, right? I mean he might. People are wild. I mean that was, that was unnecessarily risky. But Tangros was basically predicting U-turn slash Bolt Strike. I don't know why Tapu Bulu is your counter. Thankfully you have Sludge Bomb on this. Uh, shoutouts to Finchinator. Not many people run Sludge Bomb on Tangros and he just forfeited. <laughs> love it, gotta love it. So yeah, we have um, 1530, this is my man, my man T's account. He's gonna do a guest live for you guys, I don't know if it's today, um, I don't know when it will, when I will upload it, but yeah, the time I'm recording this, he hasn't done it yet. Yeah, I'm gonna record it for him basically, because I don't think he can record, he only has an iPad. I'll record it for him, I'll be in the call with him, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be in the video though. Because he wanted to do a guest live. But yeah, this guy is a martial, he knows the power. But that was so funny, that guy just went to the top of Bulu as if it's the... Like, I know most Tangros don't run Sludge Bomb, but still, that was so funny. Um, what's this guy's rank? Uh, okay, he's mid-1500s. I just wanted to look at the GXE. So he has a Toxapex, which is a... Like, it's a decent check for my Shadow, but uh, it dies to plus one um, Z-move after bulk up. Like, uh, after Stealth Frogs. Okay, so this guy gets destroyed by Charizard, so why not lead off with it? He leads off with Pinsir, so Pinsir, um, since I run 40 HP, I think I can lift this. Otherwise it would be, I think it's still a roll. Yeah, it's a roll, and I don't know if I want to risk the roll, it has a 43%, sh it's in my favor, right? I don't have switch in, so I think I have to risk it. It's a 43% chance, like, come on. And I live on 1%. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, it was a 43% chance to kill. I think I had to take that risk. I should have led off with something that had a better matchup versus Pinsir. No, he also, he also has Toxapex. So, like I said, Zard destroys him. So, that's wrong because he has a Toxapex. But yeah, I don't have switches to Marshadow. The thing is, I kind of want to keep my Zard to Healing Wish it later. Um. Yeah, this is tough, man. Since he has a Toxapex, I mean, I have a Duck Tree to get rid of Toxapex, that's the thing. And if I Healing Wish this and I get rid of Toxapex, that destroys him. Oh, he has a Volcarona, so Scarf Rock Slide is gonna be nice to check that. Yeah, I think I have to sack my Zard, like, it hurts me, but... How am I how am I killing his Tangros if I sack my Zard, by the way? Yeah, I need Zard for Tangros. So, never mind, I'm not sacking my Zard. Uh, what am I sacking instead, though? He's gonna be Stealth Fox Excadrill. Can I, can I afford to set my Mew? I think I can afford to set my Mew. Or can I afford to set my Tangros? This is tough, dude. I think I will set my Mew. The problem with this is... The problem with this is... Ah, uh, he's life up, okay. I think I should have gone into Tangros. That was a misplay. Ah oh, man, 
So it's the life of set, which is the HPIs, which is mixed. They run like f jolly nature with some special attack investment. They're Oko Landrus with uh, HPIs after rocks. See, now this might kill because of the defense drop. Okay, nice. So we got rid of Marshadow. We took unnecessary damage on Mew. That was maybe played a bit awful on my end. So this is a Volcarona, which is a big problem, obviously. <laughs> the thing is, if I go hard into Marshadow on a Fire Blast, I get roasted. So I'm gonna go Mew and I'm gonna Volt Switch. But the thing is, he can Quiver Dance and he can Quiver Dance again if I go into Mew. So this is a tough turn. I think I have to go on a Duck Trio. But if I lose my Duck Trio, how? Like, if I go on a Duck Trio and he Quiver Dances, I can ground Z move so that he can't Quiver Dance again. But the problem with that is, if I lose my Duck Trio, how am I beating Toxapags? That's a really good question. I don't know if I have a play, like, do I have a play that prevents him from sweeping me? Like, Heart My Shadow is too risky because I don't want to lose. Oh, this Volcarona is broken, holy shit. Why does this ha why is it a 50-50 if I lose here? If I go Heart My Shadow and he Fire Blasts, I lose my, my best way of checking his Volcarona. Um... And if I lose my- if I use my Ground Z to kill the Volcarona... I don't think I can kill Toxapex, because a regular Earthquake only lets like 45 or something to Pex. And if he um, Skull burns me or some shit like that, I can't beat it one-on-one. -on -one. Even if I Screech into Earthquake. So I don't know what to do here, this is tough. I have no idea what to do. If he Quiver Dance is a nice day and I lose, because he can Quiver Dance again. And if I go hard my shadow, I'll lose my way of checking it. I think going hard into Charizard is the play. But if I lose Charizard, how do I be tank growth? Yet I don't, I don't have a play here. I don't have a play. I mean, I have a play, but it's a 50-50. Like he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna quiver dance. We're going hard into my shadow. He's gonna quiver dance. Yes, yes, yes. Holy shit! We got the play correct, guys. So like. If he fire blasted, I think I lost. But now I have to. Now I still have to hit a rock slide. Can we please hit this? We do connect our rock slide and scarf. My shadow comes through. Whew. It's lady. <laughs> why was? <laughs> why is Volcarona so stupid? <laughs> so now he knows I'm trying scarf. I think he's gonna go for Roxy. I kind of. I kind of want to go Duck Tree hard, but if he could be Sash. I don't really need my shadow at this point. I guess I can go to Mew in case he goes for rocks. I can attempt to defog. But he just picks me off with an iron head. And I'm gonna go into Duck Trio. Actually, what if he's Focus Sash? Or what if he's Choice Scarf? Jirachi. What is my play here, dude? Like, I think I go Changros to break a potential Focus Sash. Is that the play? Yeah, I think he's Scarf. Ah, oh, come on. But if he's Scarf, I can go Jirachi here. Thankfully, I didn't go in a Duggy. Yeah, if he's not Scarf, I fucked up. But he's probably Scarf. I could have gone my Shadow to scare him out. But I didn't want to give the packs a free switch in. If, if I go my shadow and he goes in the packs, that's just annoying because like I don't have my default anymore, so he can get up T spikes. So like I kind of wanted to double into Dougie on. I want to go wanted to go my shadow then double into Dougie, but that's so risky. He forfeited, so he was choice scarfed. I could have yeah I could have gone for rocks or for U turn. Yeah, I probably would have gone for U turn. And if he got if he went into toxic packs, I would have killed him with a. Um, with a ground Z move, and if he went into Tangros, I would have gone into Charizard to click Flamethrower. Um, and yeah, Healing Wish on the Jirachi is really nice because Charizard was absolutely necessary to win this game. So if he got the roll turn one on my Charizard, I lost. Pins is just a huge threat, what can I say? Yeah, I'm gonna keep this life a bit shorter. I think we already won two games. 
I'm gonna get one or two more. Okay, so this guy is using my shadow too. He knows it's the, it's the new power. Let me check his rank. He's uh, okay, okay. He's 33 and 13, which is not the best, but I don't want to shit talk. Um, my neck trick. That's my neck trick from full Oko. Neck trick from full is a roll, I think, to, to Oko Dark Trio. Uh, it does 89 to. Okay, okay, it's so a 37% chance to kill. So I can technically leave a Dagi and try to kill my Nectric turn 1, but that's probably not the play. The He has, he has a Muck which can pursue my Mars Shadow, which is interesting. I want to leave with Charizard, but if he leaves with my Nectric, that's just so bad. But Tangrowth has a decent matchup overall, so I'll leave with Tangrowth. Uh, we don't have HPIs on this. So I'm forced into my Mew here and to defog the rocks the way that he's gonna set up. Um, he goes on a Marsh Shadow. I don't know if he predicted me to go on the Mew. That was a good play. I mean, if he set up rocks and I defog, he could have gotten into this anyway, so it would have been the same scenario. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's banded or what he is, but I don't have good checks for this. Uh, man, I should have put a Max Defense Toxapex on my team. Just to check this shit. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be Z move. Yeah, I should make my Tangros these MX Defense or Sora Toxapex on. See, that did nothing. That's, that's what I'm talking. I don't know if I mentioned it in this video yet, but like... I think that's Scarf damage. Like, Scarf? Marshadow is so fucking weak. Like, I don't know. Like, what does this damage? Like, I'm not... I don't have... Fi I'm not Fist Def. I'm AV Tangros. Like, what? That did nothing, dude. Like, you, you just healed me. That did less than my Regenerator healed, so like... When I saw this, I was like, okay, people need to stop saying this thing is broken. Like, what is this joke damage? But yeah, then I saw the Z moves and the... The Z move bulk up set, which is pretty cool. But yeah, he, I, I want to double switch here. If he goes Zapdos, that's a bit annoying though. I just want to click knockoff, honestly. Why is he staying in? Why is he staying in, dude? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, he's Z move. Fuck my life. He's gonna click the Z move and eat me. I thought he was Choice Scarf. Okay, never mind then. I'm gonna get blown away. Uh, Tangros is nice in this matchup, but I have to sack something. See, like, I, I realize how good my shadow is because, like, I'm talking all this crap about it, but I'm still getting destroyed by it. I just thought he wouldn't stay in there, otherwise, I would have gone for Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm would have done so much to him. Now he didn't even have to waste the Z-move. Damn it. I just go to this and click. He's gonna go to Mach expecting my Spectre receive. So I'm gonna close combat expecting the Mach. He goes Garchomp. Why? I don't know if he's Scarf Chomp on this team. Uh, he should be Scarf Chomp. Would he, would he go would he go for rocks and stay in or would he double into his Mars Shadow? Okay, he stayed in the thing. I, I almost double switched expecting him to go to Mars Shadow. But I was like, just in case he's Scarf and he thinks he outspeeds me, I should stay in. But you know, he comes and destroys something with his own Mars Shadow. Um, that's his only Stealth Fox setup, so I think I can afford to set my Mew now. Um, yeah, like... I have to accept my shadow is really good, okay. Because I just got tossed. Z move probably occurs my Zard. The thing is Ductrio is so frail, Ductrio is gonna die to close combat. So I'm forced into my own Marshadow. The pr the thing is he can just go into his muck here, but if I close combat predict him to go to muck and he stays in I lose, so I'll spectral receive. He's probably gonna go muck or he goes Zapdos. So that's a good mid ground play because it's gonna eat it up. See, that's what I'm talking about. Scarf does absolutely no damage. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I lose this game. I could have played this game better, but to be fair, my team is not prepared for opposing Marsh Shadow. Like, this team is not made for that broken shit. Holy. 
Okay. It's funny, right? I just said it's not broken. Now I call it broken shit. Uh, he's probably gonna do something that hits Dougie here. Um, he's probably gonna go for Heatwave or HPI. It's because he knows that he walls me. Yeah, I wanna make the risky play of going hard Zard because he's not gonna go for electric move. Dude, I have a fucking duck to you. People are bad. That was my... I shouldn't have said that. He's not bad, but... I get triggered, dude. I get triggered. I just got outplayed. It's fine. I can't say anything. Like... I thought he wouldn't Volt Switch because I have a Duggy. And my Duggy can Toxic... My Duggy can Toxic his Zapdos. Uh, he obviously doesn't know my set, but like... Why did he put Learn My Shadow Pursuit? What? He's obviously gonna fuck me up. I mean, I don't have a switch. Like, what am I? Fuck, I just hit my mic. Like, what am I supposed to do versus this mon? Like, I don't have a switch in at all. Like, it was fun. It was really fun, but I don't have a switch. In. <laughs> like, I can hope that he chokes and goes for close combat and I can go into my own, but, like, I'm just gonna set my Zara. Oh, I should have slept. That showed you guys the animation. Oh my god, I just lose. So I double into Dougie on a Zapdos. The thing is, if his Marshadow comes back and it just gets a kill. But yeah, Heatwave in the sun or HPS, okay. Hopefully he doesn't have heat wave. Why would he volt switch? I could have subbed. This guy's so fucking bad. Holy shit. Like, I can understand his play, but there was no fucking reason. This guy is, like, you're so far ahead. Why would you make a risky play in that position? Like, you fucking awful or what? JK, I got predicted. <laughs> now, like, there was no point in making that play. If I sub down, you have to take so many poison damage, like, so much poison damage. I need Dougie or I lose to Megiana and I need my shadow to outspeed other stuff so I have to sack Jirachi now it was fun. Uh, it was really fun. Fuck this man. I already hate facing Marshado. Yeah he goes for Z move. It's funny like Z move looks so fucking di There's no animation, it just goes for Z move but I don't see it. But Spectral Thief it looks cool as fuck. Spectral Thief looks cool as fuck. Like, I just lose to this. I think my win condition is flinch and everything. So I'll just try to flinch everything. This has Shadow Sneak, so I can't even flinch it. I just lose. GG. <laughs> Did you get- I get triggered so easy. Like, I haven't played ladder in a while because I'm watching World Cup all the time. Wait, he didn't go for Shadow Sneak. Oh, of course no flinch. Of course. Does he not have Shadow Sneak? Oh, wait, we, we eat that up? Holy shit. I mean, I know we lose this game, but I thought I can't live that. I lose! What do you mean, potentially? I lost... I lost ages ago. What do you mean, potentially? Do people like this trigger me? Like, he had the game 100% and still makes unnecessary plays with, like, Zapdos Volt switching. Um, I lost my scarf. Let me freeze him. Let be, be slow, manectric. What do you mean potentially? If I'm even if I'm scarf draggy, I don't beat you. Like potentially, what? People like this trigger me. Holy shit! Yeah, I gotta get a win in the next one. But yeah, you guys can see I have no switching. I'm so tempted to put a fucking. I want to put a toxapex on my team. Man, the first two games were so cool, and of course now I'm getting throttled. Of course he has his own Marshadow, busted mon. I think Zard gets a kill versus this guy. So he probably has to live with something that prevents Zard from getting a kill, which is either Z-move Marshadow, or like Bandit Marshadow might, al might also Oko my Zard. Okay, I mean Scarf can Oko too with Rockslide. Oh, well, he might leave with Greninja. So, Marshadow or Greninja lead? How do I counteract? I think I'll leave, I'll leave with my own Marshadow. Just to counteract. 
I mean, if he's Scarf too, I just go for the Speed Tie. Yeah, he goes for Shadow Sneak. Um, so I probably should have switched out. That was a bad play. I think if he was Life Up, he would have killed me. That was an awful play on my part. So now he's going to set up a Spike or go for a Dark Pulse if he's Ash. And if he's Protein, he might go for, I don't know, Ice Beam or something. But he's Ash. And yeah, he's going to go Scizor here so we can double into Zard. As he goes for the flinch, as a good player would do, and he gets rewarded with a critical hit. <laughs> this is how the ladder works. You make the bad play and you get rewarded. I mean, I had no reason to make that play, like... But I mean, he, if I stayed in, I would've... If I stayed in, I would've probably clicked HP Fire because he has a scissor in the back. Like, if I stayed in, I would've clicked HP Fire, so it's not like... It's not like it makes a big difference, but the crit is just so fucking annoying because if I double into Zart now and he goes into Scizor, I'm in bullet punch range, like, thanks to that stupid critical hit. But yeah, I just go for HP fire, he try to nap his Scizor, this guy just doesn't fucking care, like, people are so bad on the ladder, why do I even try to predict? Why do I try to predict these fucking retards, like, holy shit, how bad can you be? Like, what the fuck are you doing, dude, get a fuck- This guy's so bad, holy shit. Dude! Dude, why do you put a heart? Let me p ignore spectators before I kill this guy. Holy shit. I'm not gonna say anything to him in the chat. If you're my subscriber, it's. I don't care, dude. Like, that's no fucking play, dude. You don't make that play. Fuck off. Holy shit, I lose to this now. But yeah, I have to double into Charizard here, breaking his. Breaking his Landris, and then we click Flamethrower and get a kill. Dude, if his Landris outspeeds my Zard because I decided to make my Zard modest, I'm gonna punch myself. <laughs> Dude, make your play. You're not stacking. I know that you're not stacking your Greninja. I'm doubling. Now, like, I let you, I, I let you get Ash from, which was my own fault. The reason I made those plays is because if I leave Storm there, right? If I leave Storm there and he gets a free session to Scizor. Like, he gets a free session to Scizor, I leave Storm, he gets a free U-turn, he just gets momentum. So I just made that... Like, I think he wouldn't make the same stupid play twice, but he made the same stupid play twice. And he thinks it's funny and he can put a heart in the chat. Like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? If he stays in, now I'm clicking X. Like, I'm ending this recording, I'm clicking X if he stays in again. <laughs> like, good job, dude. You got me triggered. Um, I should do a serious road to insanity when I get mad or something like that. Can this guy move, please? Isn't the blunder video called like that, road to insanity? Like, if you, like, out sometimes it's just when people are, like, sometimes if I'm, like, tired, I will not realize that I got outplayed and I will get super mad. But sometimes I will, like, if people just make stupid plays and get rewarded, then I just get super mad when that happens. And obviously when I get hacks, that's the other part where I will get so mad. So, this is why we, um, this is why we watch Pokemon, this is why we don't play, this is why I watch World Cup usually. Um, it's, it's fun, and, like, if I get, if they get hacked, it's not... <laughs> It sucks, heck sucks, I would still get mad in the game, but like... Why are you taking so long? Make your fucking play! You have a Landris, dude! I guess he's fearing Ice Punch. Um, I assume he's Majuna's offensive, because otherwise he could also switch into that if he's like max HP. Some people run Bulky Scizor, which can also check Marshadow. Like, I thought Bulky Scizor take like 40% or 38 from Choice Bandit Marshadow. So, he stayed in, so yeah, I said uh, if he stays in, I will click X and end the recording, so thank you guys for watching. <laughs>